Okay, everyone, today is Sunday, December 13th. The time is 4.04 p.m. and the temperature outside is 2 degrees Celsius. I'm here at the College Subway Station in downtown Toronto. And the plan for this one is to head outside and check out the Barbara Ann Scott Ice Trail. There's a look at the food court here at College Park. And the Metro Supermarket. There's a number of different ways to access the ice trail from outside. But I'll be heading up to Yonge Street and heading in through the eastern access point. You could also access it through this building here, College Park, as well as to the west of here at the corner of Bay Street and College Street. You could access the park. And from Gerard Street to the south. So this is the intersection of College and Young. And that would be Carlton Street on the other side of Young. And now I'm heading south on the west side of Young Street. This building on the right is College Park. There's been a number of requests in the comments as well as in the live streams to come take a look at this ice trail at this time of year. And if you're wondering, it is a large circular outdoor ice rink. It opened this year on November 28th and should remain open until March 22nd. It originally operated from 1980 to 2011, but closed due to budgetary concerns, but it reopened in December of 2019. For a late afternoon on a Sunday in December on Young Street, it's certainly very quiet in this area. And there's a sign signifying the entrance to the ice trail. And there's a look at the shops at Aura, which sit underneath the very tall residences, which is a one of the tallest, if not, I think it's still the tallest residential building in the city of Toronto. I have done a video through the shops at Aura in the past, so if you're interested, you could look that one up on the channel. And this is the ice trail I'm currently heading towards. It's 
The ice surface itself is five meters in width and it is cleared off every 45 minutes or so. And underneath the ice trail is a state-of-the-art carbon dioxide refrigeration system that apparently is environmentally friendly. I believe there's supposed to be a limit of 25 people at a time on the ice rink this year due to the restrictions put in place. And like the other skating rinks in the city that are open this year, you can go online to the city's website and reserve a spot. And just give these people a bit of space. I'll circle around it. You could also access the ice trail from Bay Street, which is straight ahead there. I'm not too familiar with this particular location, but I don't think they do ice skate rentals here. And it's my understanding that the lockers and change room facilities are not available this year. Oops. One of the challenges they must face with limiting the capacity on this rink is the fact that it's quite easy for anyone just to walk up to it and hop on with their skates. I think I read that they do have someone monitoring that. And there's a farm boy location that's moved into College Park. And that's a look towards the intersection of College and Bay. I'd like to get closer, but it seems someone's blasting some, what I'm certain is copyrighted music. And there you go, that's the Barbara Ann Scott Ice Trail. If 
you're wondering, just to the south of here on Yonk Street is Dundas Square and the Eaton Centre. I don't really have a plan for the rest of this video, but at just over 11 minutes, that is on the short side. So maybe I will walk across College Street and take that to Queens Park Station. I was thinking I could head south and check out the ice rink at Nathan Phillips Square, but I have done that in a previous video. So this here is Bay Street. And there's the look south. That is the financial district way off in the back there. So this shouldn't take very long to get to Queens Park Station. There's one last look at College Park and the various towers that are part of the development. And now I'm heading west along the north side of College Street. There's the old Victoria Hospital for Sick Children, now currently home of Canadian Blood Services. And a research center for Princess Margaret Hospital. Just to the south here, and along University Avenue, is a part of Toronto that's well known for its hospitals. And just to the north of here is the rather sprawling University of Toronto St. George campus. That's a look south down Elizabeth Street.
And that's the Mars building across the street. I've done a few walks down College Street where I've talked about a lot of the historical buildings around here. If you're new to the channel, you can always try just searching by a street or a neighborhood name. And you should be able to find a walk on my channel that covers that area, although I haven't done narrated walks through all of it just yet. That's something I started doing, I want to say, last summer. But there's also other channels that cover Toronto, such as the Ken Continuum and my walk around. So you might find what you're looking for on one of their channels as well. And I, I'm not too sure what this development is for. Maybe you will see a sign posted. There's so many high-rise developments going on in the city. Often with changing statuses, it's really impossible to stay on top of all of them. I'm sure someone will pop into the comments and let us know what's going on here. Future home of the Schwartz Reisman Institute for Technology and Society at the University of Toronto. There we go. It looks to be a rendering of what will be going up here. Certainly looks like it'll be a rather neat complex. It'd be nice to see less of the all glass look in Toronto as so many of the new high rises seem to incorporate all glass exteriors. And this seems to be a memorial for firefighters. There's always so many gems like this all throughout the city. And there's a lot more like that just to the north of here at Queen's Park. So this street here is Queen's Park, and that wraps around the Ontario Legislative Assembly building. Ontario is the province of Ontario, or is the province, of course it is, it is the capital of Ontario. Ottawa is the capital of the country. And to the south of College is University Avenue, which is sort of a grand avenue that runs through the city. It's really the only one of its kind. It's not uncommon to see parades and demonstrations roll through there, especially as it leads up to Queen's Park. All right, I have put my mask on, so let's head into the subway station and hop on the train. I hope you enjoyed this rather 
short look around the Barbara Ann Scott Ice Trail at College Park and a quick jaunt down College Street in between Young and Queens Park. Sounds like we have a train rolling in. If it's the northbound train, I'll probably jump on it. I can really go in either direction here. And we're in luck. Line one. Please stand clear of the doors. again thanks for watching if you wish to support the channel there are links to my patreon account in the description as well as instagram and you can consider a channel membership on the youtube channel page thanks for watching guys and have a great week <laughs> i don't know why i said it that way but i'll catch you on the next one